Is this the world's most expensive traffic jam? Ships lined up for days outside the Panama Canal last August. Roughly $270 billion worth of cargo flows through here each year. But this vital link between two oceans is running out of water. Which is a huge problem for shipping companies and could spell trouble for global trade. The number of vessels that can pass through here each day has been slashed from 36 to 24. Jose Cervantes from shipping company Agunza told me this shortcut between the Pacific and Atlantic oceans is the natural route, warning if it's blocked, alternatives are needed, meaning more time and extra costs. Unlike the Suez Canal, the Panama Canal works by lifting boats up through a set of locks into an artificial lake 85 feet above sea level. But it means the canal here is reliant on rainwater, which is in short supply. 2023 has been the second driest year in the history of the Panama Canal. Ilia Espina de Marotta, the canal's chief sustainability officer, says the drought, made worse by the El Nino weather phenomenon, is expected to last until May. The big problem we're having is lack of rain. In the rainy season, which goes from May until December, we're supposed to get tons of rain and fill the lakes. This year, there was very little rain. We had El Nino year. And now that we're in summer, the lake started the summer with very low level. So we had to cut down on number of ships being able to transit the canal to maintain the lake level through the summer. On Gatun Lake, the freshwater reservoir that feeds the locks, the canal's hydrologist, Nelson Guerra, showed us firsthand the scale of the problem. The level is, uh, as you see in the rule, is 81.20 feet. The level should be five feet more than now. To conserve water, fewer boats are allowed to pass through the Panama Canal each day. This is one of the lucky ones. But a changing climate is putting billions of dollars of trade at risk and raises difficult questions about the future of this engineering marvel. The Canal Authority is trying to reuse as much water as possible. It's considering building more reservoirs to store water and is even exploring cloud seeding to make it rain more. We believe it's climate change. If you look at the world 2023, the Amazon River, very low. Mississippi River had to stop transits, very low level. So it's not only Panama, it's the world that has seen a lot of different climate situations this 2023. While other routes suffer disruption from politics and piracy, the problems at the Panama Canal are a reminder that climate change may yet be the biggest crisis for global trade. Michelle Fleury, BBC News, Panama Canal.